Hey everyone, it's Lisa and Bill. We are doing a video on uh, some homeschooling products that we use for Gemma right now. And it is all about the brand Learning Resources. If you guys are homeschooling your kids or doing some learning time, you will probably recognize a lot of these things as you start collecting things like for your learning time or your homeschooling. Learning Resources is a brand that has amazing products for like teaching little kids anything. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that are working for us. And then I'm also going to share with you an amazing uh, little giveaway that Learning Resources put together for you guys based on things that we use from them too. Uh, there's only three things in this whole pile that they gave us uh, to review for free to talk to you guys about. And I love all three of the things, so I'm still going to tell you about them. Everything else in this video we purchased with our own money or she got as gifts. So my, you can't see it right now, but my island is full of things. <laughs> That's why we chose this area to stand and talk about this. Bill plays with her with a lot of these things during playtime. I do a lot of them with homeschooling, so we're just going to take turns and talk about the things that so we do. A best. lot of these things are um, she loves after she's done learning. Like an example is the cupcakes. So she knows all her colors, and what's cool is each cupcake has a shape on the bottom and they come apart. These cupcakes come apart, yeah. So she, so now it's playtime and she bakes cupcakes in her kitchen. And so it's, um, they've kind of served two purposes. It's a learning tool and she plays in her it kitchen. It is with solid. Them. Yeah. This is not something that she's going to bite and break in half. So the cool thing with these cupcakes is, again, they teach colors. Did you see the colors? Obviously. They all come apart, like he said, and each one is a different shape on the bottom. So you take them all apart, put them in a pile, let her find them and put them together herself. That's mm -hmm. great. And then also in the bottom of this pan, there are the shapes. So she could learn where to, how to put how to them, match them up. and how to match them up. So it's like you could do so many different games with just these cupcakes. I've talked about these numerous times in favorite videos. But, um, and again, below this video, I have my Amazon storefront linked. I'm going to put all of this stuff on there so you guys can find it super easy. I'm not going to talk about prices or anything right now. If you want to find it, just click on my storefront link down below and you'll see it all on there. But these are something, this is actually probably one of the first things from this brand that we got for her besides these that we'll yep. talk about next. But th this yep. is amazing because it serves so many different purposes. It's learning and now she loves playing with them in her yeah. kitchen. So these are the cupcakes. Those probably were one of the things that helped her learn her colors right. the fastest. Yep. Because she play, we play with that almost daily. Yep. So the this is this is actually the first thing she got. And there's five buckets. These are the, what are they called? Sorting, they're sorting buckets. There's five. I brought two to show you right now. There's red, yellow, orange, Purple, Purple and, green. and green. Yeah. And so they got the sticker with the, the color on it. And each one comes with all those five. Vegetables. I want to say there were five yeah. fruits or vegetables of that of color. That color. Um, some of these aren't, but it doesn't matter. They're all mixed up. Right um, now, but, yeah. but yeah, this was another one that was uh, fun. This was like less than a year old. And I think we got this because we were trying to teach her to sort the colors, you know, or to sort or to tell me which one is a pepper. We put all the vegetables in a pepper in, in a we put all the vegetables in a pepper. We'd put all the vegetables in a pile and I'd tell her, show me the banana. Where's the apple? Where's the orange? Then you could do sorting. You know, you could empty them all and tell her to match them to the color on the front. Mm -hmm. There's so many different things. And now these are all in her grocery store. <laughs> and so now she plays with them in her grocery store. So she's still playing with these, you know, from nine months old to now. Mm -hmm. So this is another fantastic Thing and you know you're not really going to be able to see it on camera, but they're they're it's it's a, it's a solid plastic. You see a lot of real crappy plastic Here. play food out there. Here's a good example. Okay. It's gonna come closer. I'm gonna come you. closer. You can kind of see the difference. This, this is a left. hard plastic. And then this is the one from Learning Resources. It's a much nicer, durable plastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's the difference. It's just, it's very nicely made things too. I mean, like the, the fruits and vegetables Actually, are just, they're are solid. These are solid because that's the learning yeah. resource one, yeah. and then that's the other one. Anyway, this is the stack, the sorting, the sorting pots. I've talked about these a lot too. Learning resources, fantastic. So that's another thing. Um, the next two that, well, this is another early, early get. Cookies. Cookies. I've talked about these a lot, guys. Yeah. They come with 11 cookies, zero to 10. So it has the number of chips on the front, and then it has the number on the back. So it teaches numbers, teaches 
you know, there's two chips. So you could turn them all over that way and say, show me which one is two, show me which one is one. Turn them over, you got the numbers for a different numbers game. And as she misplaces a couple, I'll line them all up and I'll go, which one are you missing? And she'll, <laughs> she'll tell me which number of chips are missing. And we also have a fun game because uh, I always go for the one with the 10 chips mm -hmm. and she always wants that one. So we, That's it's funny. kind of kind of annoy her a little bit because I want the 10 chip. No. But the cookies, again, go, it's hand in hand as like the cupcakes. They're, they're learning tools and then she loves playing with them in her kitchen yep. and like serving them to you when she's yes. cooking. So you it's a, a fun a plate toy. with some cookies and a cup yeah. of something. <laughs> a cup of vanilla extract. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's the new one. So yeah, so these cookies, you guys have talked about them a lot. We're still playing with them, and she's three now. So um, all of this stuff is all of this stuff is super inexpensive too. It's all on my Amazon storefront, so check down there. Um, okay. The newest addition that playtime in her kitchen. Um, I don't know the learning part so much about this, but this, this is, is just a learning this resources. Is just it's soup. soup. It's soup. It comes with celery and tomato and. This actually comes with, wait, hang on, because I screenshotted the thing, because it comes with two bowls, spoons, so you can see tomato. This is called the tomato. New Sprouts Soups On. It comes with 23 pieces. It comes with two bowls, two spoons, all the soup inside, which is super nicely made little chopped Solid. up pieces. Um, and this fun little pot that she loves playing the with label. on her stove all the time. So. Yeah, and this is this is something that I think she got for Christmas with her new kitchen. For Christmas. Yeah. Yep. So this is amazing. The soup is a thing for her now. Yes. Okay. Uh, something I'll talk about that we do in homeschooling. If you guys have watched my previous homeschooling videos, yeah. um, the acorn game. We play this all the time. I keep it in this box just because it looks so much nicer. And actually, when we play it, I just take this plastic piece off and lay the tray out like that. And what I do is, it comes with all these toys too that go inside the acorns. And I put all the toys in a pile, she picks one, and then I tell her, okay, that is a umbrella. Which letter start, I write umbrella on the board, if you guys have watched my Insta stories, and I tell her, what, what, what letter does umbrella start with? She says U, she has to find the U acorn, she opens it, she puts the toy inside of it. That's just one version of it. There's so many different things you could do with this, it's freaking amazing. Um, anyway, it's just like an alphabet game, and it's, it's super fun, so... If you watch my homeschooling with Gemma videos, I think I put like two or three up. I think I put like two or three up at this point. Um, you'll see us playing that game, and that's a fantastic game from Learning Resources as well. So that's one that's awesome. Uh, something else from homeschooling that this is something that we really don't even use anymore because she knows her alphabet now. But these are popsicles. So and they have the uh, the uppercase and the lowercase letters. So you can separate them. You can tell her find both A's. Um, it has another letter on the other side, but it's just a fun way. It's just a letter game. So it teaches, again, you could do colors, it teaches colors, because these I are all... I didn't know we had the popsicles. Yeah, these are upstairs. <laughs> uh, these, are, these are in our learning area. A lot of this stuff stays upstairs in the learning area, not in her playroom. Um, but colors, teaches colors, teaches letters. You could spell words with them, so we could still use these in the future. But the popsicles are a super, super fun tool to teach alphabet, to teach colors, to teach uppercase, lowercase, spelling, sight words, stuff like that. So that's another fun thing that we do. How about this? Well, this one I think is a little beyond her right now. But we got... She got, for her birthday, she got a grocery store. Um, from Melissa and Doug Grocery Store. And she loves shopping, so she got this little wallet, this learning resources wallet. It came with change, and let me show you up close this money, because this money looks real. Like, this is fake money uh, from learning resources. Anyway, it comes with ones, fives, tens, twenties. She does recognize, I'll go into money in a second, because I'm gonna talk about something else that we work on upstairs, but she recognizes money as far as nickel, dime, quarter, penny, one dollar. That's all she recognizes at this point. But this is fun just for her to pay with when she's when she's shopping. It's hysterical. She opens her purse and she just, she puts all the coins out or... <laughs> Usually, like, if she's checking me out at the register, she opens the register and gives me all the money out of the <laughs> so, register. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not robbing you here, kid. So, yeah, so this is just a fun learning tool um, and it will be more obviously yes. still still to use this because yeah. she's not really grasping the concept yet but she knows that she has to pay when she plays grocery store so it comes with change and dollars Cash. and the wallet yeah so that's fun another thing in the money area is 
magnetic money. I have a dry erase board upstairs that we teach on. And this is fun magnetic money. So here's a dime. It's, it's huge too, which is nice. So I could teach her. Here's a penny. Here's a dime. Uh, here's a dollar. You know, and I tell her, I t which one is the dollar? You know, and it's magnetic and it's awesome. So this comes with 45 pieces. It's got quarters, nickels, dimes, everything. It's just a fun way to teach her about money. Um, obviously, she's not going to grasp it yet. What does this say? What's the ages on this? Grades, kindergarten and up. Okay. So, so basically, years. just teaching her. Show me, she, she, if you put coins out on the table, she could tell you which one is a quarter, which one is a nickel, which one is a dime, and which one is a penny, if you ask her, um, because of this, mainly. And because I have, like, I have a change purse upstairs with, like, real money in it, and we use it on the table, so I kind of show her. She doesn't know the dollars yet, but she knows the coins, so this has been really, really cool, and this is something we'll use, you know, for years to come, too, because you could use this with math as she gets older, so this is awesome. So, yes. The doctor kit. <laughs> this, did she, when did she get this? I think Christmas. Yeah, this is uh, an actual upgrade because she had another one that we kind of. She had a Dora the Explorer. Or uh, Doc Dr. McStuffins. Kit. Doc McStuffins. Doc That's McStuffins. Right. Stock, we, we have some of the pieces in here. With it. But this one came with so much fun stuff that, um, again, it's solid. It's a doctor kit. I don't know how, you, how much you want to say about it. Um, actually, I think these were the, Those doc, were the Doc McStuffins. That was the Doc McStuffins. One with the glitter with the she Doc McStuffins. She loves taking your blood pressure. In fact, when I took her for her three-year appointment, they took her blood pressure, and she told the nurse, she goes, I have that at home. <laughs> that, I forgot. I don't know what that is called. But you hit your knee reflex. with it. I forget. That is dangerous. I've gotten whacked with that <laughs> multiple times. Um, and her new favorite, where is it? Is it here? There it is. The scalpel. scalpel. Oh man, I can't tell you how many surgeries have happened. And they come with little band-aids, yeah. which is funny because this fits around her ankle. It doesn't, it, it's like, oh my god, it's so tiny. Scissors, the little thing she has to put the glasses on. She puts the glasses on puts every the glasses time. On. And you need a little, shot. You always need a shot. Like a little bedpan? I mean, <laughs> a little bedpan? This didn't come with it, but. Yeah, it did. This one came with it? Yes. Because that's the one I had put oh. in her kitchen before, and she, All right. she keeps it. Well, this is the fun. Comes with a fun. Comes with a phone. phone. When you press the front, it it makes it rings, and then one side of it makes the sound like, like a camera. It's going to be a camera, which is so. If you guys awesome. have watched my Insta stories or Instagram account, you have seen her playing doctor with Bill, and it's so funny. <laughs> she is so funny with this doctor kit, but this is a really nice doctor kit. Um, really nicely made. Comes in this fun little case. She loves it. Everything stays in one spot. Again, they nailed it. With I, that. I didn't go to the last doctor's appointment, but I've been curious to see because when we look, we look in her ear. Mm -hmm. We go, what do I see? She goes, your brain. <laughs> no, she looks in your nose. She says she sees boogers. <laughs> yeah. Oh Not yeah. A good influence. Anyway, okay. Next thing I'll talk about is Hot Dots. This is Hot Dots Junior. I'm sure a bunch of you already know what this is. This is a magic pen that you use along with these cards that have dots on it. And so this one is what belongs here. So there's a, a bathroom scene up here at the top. And at the bottom, there's a stove, a couch, and a rubber ducky. So for example, if you take the pen and just hit the couch, it says incorrect and he turns red. If you hit the, the duck, it turns green and says, good job. Let's see. Here's the stove. It makes a noise, oh. so you know that you're wrong. This is fun. This came with a whole deck of cards. What belongs, what doesn't belong, match it up, what animal goes on the farm, stuff like that. There's so many different kits that you could buy with these cards for hot dots. It's just a fun thing, and really, it's kind of magic. I don't know, really, I don't really don't understand the, the technology behind it, but it's so freaking cool. But... Hot Dots. She loves playing with it. 72 colorful self-checking lessons. And it's just, this one, this particular one is for preschoolers, so it says beginning problem solving. So it kind of is teaching her stuff like that, but she loves this stuff. So Hot Dots. Fun. Here, I'll talk some of these. Okay, so this is basic. You guys can use markers for anything. You can, you can use coins, you can use buttons, whatever you want. Learning resources. I just grabbed these off of Amazon because when we played bingo at Christmas, she loved playing with the bingo chips. So when we do matching stuff, um, these are just, they look like bingo chips, really. They are, uh, they're just counters, you know. We use them when we're counting for numbers. We use them with worksheets. Um, we use them when we play bingo. We have a few bingo games upstairs, but they're just, they're just counters and they're learning resources. So no big deal. It's just, they're kind of bingo chips, but they're learning resources. So they're kind of cute. And the other thing we use upstairs are these math link cubes. 
Um, I'm sure you've seen these too. These are these are for counting too. So these come apart, and you can cut. You can build with them, but it's mostly like for math purposes. And there's shapes on them, so you could do shapes. You can build. You can teach math. Um, colors. Yeah, there's so many different colors of them. So. Um, another thing from them. It's a hands-on manipulative uh, for mathematical concepts, counting, sorting, pattern, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, etc. So this is kindergarten through second grade. Um, and you know she just likes playing with them at this point and we, we've only used them so far for counting like 1 to 10. So yeah, she likes these too. So these are the MathLink cubes. For her birthday we got the learning phone. This is the learning telephone. I know Hardly anybody has a landline phone <laughs> these days. Um, I actually think when she gets a little older, I'd like to get one just so that she can, if something happens when she's home, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is a cool phone. You can, you can store 10 phone numbers in this phone, your family's numbers, and they can record messages on each of those numbers. So when she calls the number, she calls grandma's phone number, she dials it herself. It's gonna ring and it's gonna be grandma's voice. So she knows she dialed the number correctly. This phone is mainly to teach her how to dial 911 or to call emergency family members, you know, family members in case of emergency. Um, I just think it's a really cool tool. Even though, even though you don't see a lot of phones like this anymore, I still want her to know how to use a phone, um, right? I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know. I still want her to know how to use a phone. So, um, it's cool. It'll teach her how to dial for emergencies. It'll teach her how to dial families' numbers, and it's just a fun little extra tool to use. Magnetic USA puzzle. It's just a puzzle. Uh, we do this on the table just because it's it's not that big. There, that's how big it is. But it's a magnet. Uh, she can do it on the fridge. She can do it on her front door. Um, obviously, she doesn't know exactly. She doesn't know where all the states go. I kind of show her where everything goes, but she does know how to identify 17 states on the USA map. If you guys watch my Insta story, she knows where I. She takes the pointer and points out where the states are as I tell her to point them out. So she's doing really good with her states. But this is just a fun USA magnetic map. Um, all the pieces come apart, and you have to put the you have to put the country together by yourself. So we're gonna make America great again using this thing. And uh, yeah, the last thing I have that she got for her birthday that we have not even opened yet because this is a little bit beyond her, but I will I would like to start it soon. Um, time, teaching time. So um, three levels of learning. It says identify the hour, the minute hands. It comes with matching cards um, to dry erase board so she could write it in herself. It's just a fun little clock set so that she can learn how to tell time herself. So, yes. Yeah, her concept of time is yesterday, mm -hmm. that is anything that has happened in the past, yes. and tomorrow, which is anything that will happen in the future. <laughs> so. Yeah. so we're working on that. <laughs> One of the other things that she loves are the pie, is the pie set. It comes with uh, three pies, and each one, this one here is got two slices, and it's yellow. This one is three slices, and it's blue, and it has the numbers on the bottom. And this one has four slices. And, that and one it's has four slices and it's purple. Purple. Um, but yeah. It, it's it's a little, she's beyond, the, I mean obviously it's only counting to four on one of them and she knows her basic colors but again these are super solid uh, material and right now she loves the, to use them, she goes and bakes pies. She plays in her kitchen with them but also it's, you could still use these for math. You could use these, you know, to teach counting more. You can't, you can't, mm -hmm. you know, like, um, so it's just a fun And a little coordination, set. I mean, because you can take all three of them and then she's got to put them back into the, the dish. Right. Um, little hand-eye coordination. Yeah. So the pies, she loves, she loves those them. Those are a lot of fun. So those are learning and she plays in her kitchen with them. Yes. So. Good times. <laughs> but um, what do you think of these, these, you, you like, well, we, we love them. I mean, other than, uh, there's one other uh, company that we have a lot of their products. Mm -hmm. This, this is the stuff that she plays with all the time. Yes. So we just wanted to share it with you yeah, guys. Um, Cause Bill does a lot of the playing with her and he's, he's the play guy yeah. and I'm the teaching guy. So um, he plays with her in there with all of her toys and I teach her upstairs. So we just, those are just kind of how our roles ended up. 
So he knows what she plays with the most, and he knows how she plays with it. So it's kind of cool just to get his perspective. And the inventory of all he the knows toys. he looks for all the inventory of the food. It's hysterical. What we're missing? Yeah. What you lost? So learning resources has been so nice today, and they are offering a giveaway to you guys today. So what they are offering one winner is the magnetic USA map puzzle the cash and carry wallet that comes with cash and coins and the hot dots set. So you get all three things in the giveaway. I'm going to put a link to Rafflecopter down below. This giveaway will go for one week and the winner will have 48 hours to respond before we pick a new winner. But one winner will get the map, the hot dots, and the cash and carry wallet. So it's a really fun giveaway if you're teaching your kids at home um, or you just want some extra fun educational toys to teach them with, you know, while they're playing. So yeah, it's a great giveaway. I want to thank Learning Resources for partnering with us today on this video and for making such amazing products because really these are great, great toys. Before you have kids, you really don't realize like that these things are available until you start really looking because if she's playing, she might as well be learning too, you know, and she loves learning. I feel like she, she craves mm -hmm. it. She's like, I want to do another project. Uh, teach me more. Like she says that to us. So she goes and picks books out. Yes. So this was fun. This was fun. So, um, so that's all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave us some comments below if you want to see more videos like this and we could show you what she's liking at certain times. Uh, we have a few other brands that we have a ton of stuff with as well. So if you want to hear about that stuff, we could do that. Otherwise, check out the link below to sign up for this giveaway, and uh, we will see you in our next video. Thanks a lot.